So you've cleared totems and now it's on to War Priest, the next encounter in the King's Fall Raid. So this encounter is fairly simple and you should be able to get through it really quickly. The biggest challenge you're probably going to have is DPS, but we'll walk through that. In War Priest, you're going to notice that there are three areas in the room. There is a right, middle, and left places that have plates. They'll also be in different levels. So middle is kind of in the middle, right is like a little bit up higher, and left is all the way at the top. And so what you're going to do is divide your fire team into two groups of three. One on each of the plates. And then you'll also notice there's an area with the war priest that's up, you know, in the center of the room. Okay, so that's kind of how the room is set up. So once you're set up and you start the encounter by stepping on one of the plates, what's going to happen is a bunch of ads are going to spawn. You're going to kill the ads. You're going to keep killing ads. You'll also notice that a war priest will shoot like those bolts at you. You obviously have to be careful about that. But as you ramp up, you'll get larger and larger ads, right? And so eventually, you'll notice some knights come out that are yellow. These are key. When you kill all three of these, what's going to happen is you get towards what is the DPS phase for this encounter. To do this, the person in the middle is going to step on the plate. They're either then going to see the left or right pillars light up. And if they don't, it's probably the middle because the middle is behind where you're currently looking. So you step off the plate and then the person that you called out is the person who steps on the plate first. So let's say it's the left person. The left person steps on. They will look then to the right and see if they can see the middle or the right plate lit up. With middle, a lot of times you can't see the middle plate because, again, it's behind. So if you see right, obviously it's right. If you don't see anything, it's probably middle. So then the middle person gets on, and then obviously the last one then is right. So what happens is the last person who steps on, they get a brand. And that brand allows you to do DPS to the boss, and it's got a timer on it. So the timer, you're going to use a similar mechanic that you used in totems. So as you're doing DPS to the boss and you're all huddled together, you're going to have to ha send someone to go look for knights. Those knights will give you the brand stealer. You then come back and as they're counting down their brand, you'll be able to steal the brand and then you become the person who has the buff for another 15 seconds and you count it down and then another person goes and they steal the brand again. So again, that allows you to extend the DPS phase. You don't have to do that, but that's obviously how you can extend it. Once you get through the DPS phase, what's going to happen is he's going to bring a ball up above him that's going to start wiping the entire fire team. You have to stand in the shadow of one of the totems to be able to live. That's one of the reasons why it's typically good to do the DPS from the place where the person picked up the last brand, right? That's the important place to do that. Once you finish that, that's when phase the encounter. You can do that a total of four times because you have three totems. So basically, you can set up for DPS at each of the totems and then, you know, get protected from his wipe mechanic. And then the fourth time, obviously, you got to kill him or you're going to completely wipe. Now, from a DPS perspective, at the time of recording this video, obviously, linears and things like that are really good. Some people are using swords, but that requires you to get really close to the boss. The other piece to that is that then you have to run back to go behind one of the totems to get shaded. So, obviously, that's an issue and you want to be careful about that. So, again, it's high risk, high reward. But, again... Continue using your DPS, finish him off, and that's the encounter. Again, pretty simple encounter, pretty simple concepts. Again, builds on what we've already learned in the raid. So now that you've completed that, it's on to Golgoroth, and boy, is he an ugly beast. That's the video, guys. I hope you liked it. If you get a clear or if you get through the raid business video, feel free to come in into the comments or jump in my Discord. Let me know because I really appreciate helping people out. But that's the video. I hope you liked it. If you did, feel free to like the video, subscribe to my channel, jump my Discord, and I'll see you guardians in the tower.